So hello, my name is Avarami and I am currently a biology major and also a chemistry and Spanish minor. Currently I'm a second year student and I have to graduate spring of 2024. So I grew up in Troy, Michigan. So that's approximately like an hour and a half north of here. I'm glad that like UT is close to home as well. Um, one of the biggest things I was looking for was actually a direct med school program because medicine has always been my passion since like when I was like really young. And then another thing in general was a small campus because a lot of the big campuses kind of scare me to be honest because I come from like a, I guess a smaller high school as well. So I was hoping for like a smaller like tight-knit community sort of thing. And then, um, so I was really glad that UT has this Back to MD program and I fortunately got accepted into it. So I'm really happy. Um, I'm also part of the Honors College here, which really helps with like this whole tight-knit community idea because HAV, for example, the Honors Academic Village is like the dormitory here that um, houses most of the Honors students. So I actually have like a ton of friends now just from like living there and just like be going to events with them. Yeah, so the biggest one that I'm part of is actually called uh, SACE, the Society of Asian Scientists and Engineers. Um, I'm actually the president right now. Basically, it was founded during COVID. So we started off like kind of small and then our founder ended up going to co-op. So I took over in his place. And currently it's really nice because it's basically a community where um, I guess a bunch of people can just get together, like study. And we also have like these academic and professional events where we can talk about like, you know, resumes and like internships and like even like how to get research from like, uh, you know, the biology department or like the different departments here. So it's been really nice um, being able to share my culture as well. Another uh, club that I'm part of is the UT Ballroom Dance Society, which is fantastic. I love it because apart from all of the STEM and everything, it's really nice to just have something where I can just like dance and let all my emotions out. And like, it's really nice because you don't even have to be that good at dancing. This is like very much like a beginner's card. So it's really fun. There's this one club that I am excited about, um, it's called Global Medical Brigades and basically they get to actually go to like, um, normally it's like South America every year and I guess just help out like, you know, um, almost like a medical internship in a way, but it's like a volunteering sort of thing. So hopefully, I can't go this summer because I'm working towards like my dance graduation, but hopefully like next year, I might actually be able to go study abroad. And I'm hoping that would actually be helpful because I'm a Spanish minor. So in a way, I'll be able to practice my Spanish like out of just the US, so I'm excited. <laughs> so this is actually kind of a funny story. Um, Basically, when I came for visit, like visiting day in Utilito, like way back in 2020, like before COVID, um, one of the things that we did as like part of like the visiting day was we went around like Wolf Hall and we got to see a bunch of like different labs. And there was this one that I really enjoyed and it was with Dr. Avador Reese. And he basically works with like the sperm centrioles and like fertilization. And I thought that was like really interesting. So. Literally right after I got my rocket email here, I decided the first email that I've ever sent on that like rocket email was to that professor. And he he like accepted me because I was like, I'm really excited, you know, like I know I'm a first year student, so I probably don't know much, but your research sounds really cool. And he was like, yes, like, you know, come on in. So I ended up, I guess, shadowing per se. I shadowed the lab for like the first like semester and then slowly as time went on I like actually joined one of the research um, projects there. So currently we actually just finished um, one of our projects on human fertilization. It's actually based off of male infertility. Honestly, not really just because uh, this campus was very welcoming. And even the advisors at the beginning, um, they like reached out to you first being like, hey, like, you know, new freshman, I'm pretty sure you don't really know what's going on. So let me help you like, you know, <laughs> figure out your course schedule. So I honestly don't think I had very many obstacles here. The biggest one was probably just 
making friends because if everything was online, it was just like really difficult. But in general, a lot of the faculty here like make sure that you can be successful. So it's pretty nice, you know? <laughs> the accomplishment that I am the most proud of is that I managed to get my EMT certification and I am currently licensed in both Michigan and Ohio so I'm really proud of myself for that it took a lot of effort a lot of clinical training and everything but now I'm certified and I'm hoping um, over the summer like probably starting end of May I'll actually be able to you know drive around the ambulance <laughs> so really excited for that or um, work in either UTMC or Pro Medica as an emergency room like tech so I'm really excited yeah but that was for sure like my proudest accomplishment I think pre-health advisory center is like amazing I'm really happy because I've actually talked to some of my like friends like in other colleges and they don't actually get as much help as like I thought this was normal to be honest to be like getting this amount of help because pre-health advising especially like uh, Miss Kelly amazing you know she's always out here like looking for new volunteer opportunities for us you know she'll um, a lot of the interns and stuff and like research or um, yeah like volunteering opportunities I'm pretty sure a lot of those I found just through like looking through like that pre-health advising newsletter and it's really nice also she's um, a great person to just talk to because um, I try and go at least once a semester just to go and talk to her and like you know catch up with her see how everything's going make sure I'm on the right track you know and she'll like, give me new ideas as well being like oh if you want you can like try researching here or if you want I heard like a new internship is open like in Pro Medica you know and I was like like I'm just really happy I'm glad that the pre-health advising center exists here the other thing I enjoy about being back to MD especially is that we actually have these mentoring events that we have to go to. Um, even though it's mandatory, I actually try to go to as many as possible, like even though I only need five, because they're so like informational. The one that I went to, this was a walk at WOW with, with Dr. Delavise, and it was really great because do it not only was it Dr. Delavise, but it was also like a few med students. That, um, some that had like recently graduated from undergraduate as well as like some third year students as well so it was like cool to get like a different perspective you know i was like Did you, do you guys actually get to sleep you know <laughs> like so we got to ask all sorts of questions and it was just i don't know it was really nice i enjoyed it and honestly i feel like from having all of these different events i feel much more comfortable with the idea of actually going to med school and i'm not as scared of like applying this summer because the thing is, I feel like I would have been like a lot more overwhelmed if it weren't for like pre-health advising because Miss um, Kelly, like, you know, she sends out emails. Um, I guess just giving us almost a step by step sometimes, you know, being like, this is like your time to ask for rec letters. And like, it's really so helpful because I don't know how I would have done it without her. <laughs> Um, Back to MD has especially given me more friends as well since it's also like more of a tight-knit community since a lot of the students that um, that have to go to those meetings are usually obviously the same students that are going so you just like get to meet people and like slowly I've had times where I'm like let's go get food you know so we actually like went out like explored Toledo together like it's really nice like the campus is beautiful but also the actual city is amazing as well um, for sure, my success coach, um, Alicia Cook, as well as uh, my advisor, Beth Denzel, amazing. I really love it because we actually have like a whole like thread going on in the email right now. And all like she basically every semester, she'll give you like exactly what you need to register for. And she'll even give you like a few options. She'll be like, you know, you need a biology course in like the 3000s or 4000s. Here are your options that you can choose from. And then she'll be like, I recommend like one of these courses. So I like go through it and it's like really like useful because sometimes I forget when registration is to be honest. Amazing advisors, like faculty wise, I'm, I'm just really happy. <laughs> Um, I think it's really nice that I'm a biology major as well as a chemistry um, minor just because a lot of my pre-med recs actually get fulfilled but at the same time um, through all of these like different courses I actually get like a lot more like insight than um, 
I guess most people in like biology and one of the biggest things we have focused on in biochemistry for example is like how like the smallest things like topoisomerase for example like how like inhibiting that can actually make you like a new like cancer drug you know like small things like that I thought was like really cool because I guess all throughout high school you learn biology as if it's like you know like these little small things but now we're like putting it into like real life situations and how they actually help so I guess just being able to like take all of these like biology courses like really gave me a new insight to like I guess why I really want to do medicine so yeah I think also my Spanish minor is also quite helpful because I know um, a lot of people here, as well as like South, like in South United States, a lot of people speak Spanish. So I feel like if I'm going into medicine, it'd be really good to like know a second or third language. I think the biggest one is just don't be scared because you have to actually take a leap, you know, uh, take a leap of faith, be courageous, like do something risky. Well, okay, actually, <laughs> maybe not that risky, okay. but like, you know, go out of your way and try and like talk to new people because I came from like a pretty small school where like everyone just knew each other. So coming here was like really scary, but I'm so glad I reached out and I'm so glad I've actually talked to so many people. Like, I feel like my experience is so much different now. But yeah, my biggest thing is just don't be scared. Like you can do this. Go Rockets! <laughs>